Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will add request a quote option on a WooCommerce website. So instead of add to cart, you will see add to quote or request a quote option on the WooCommerce website. Customer will be able to click on request a quote and they will be able to send a quote request to the admin of the website. Admin can receive all the requests and they can manually enter the pricing for each products and send a quote to the customer. You can also send the quote in the PDF format. Customers will also be able to log into the website and they can see all the quotes in my account section of the WooCommerce website. I'm going to start with the free plugin. The name of the plugin is YITH request a quote for WooCommerce. Definitely the free plugin has limited features. So I'm going to install the premium version also and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. The pricing of the premium version is only $69.99 per year and you will also get 30 days money back guarantee. So let's see how we can use the free and the premium YITH request a quote for WooCommerce plugin. Before we start with the installation of the plugin, let me inform you that today's video is brought to you by Breakdance. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Breakdance plugin. Breakdance is the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It is easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you are just starting your WordPress journey or you are a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try it today and experience the Breakdance difference. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch the detailed video on how to use the Breakdance plugin and what are the features in the Breakdance plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. This is a demo website. Let's go to the dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for YITH request a quote. So this is the plugin YITH request a quote for WooCommerce. Click on install now. This is the free version. Later, I'm going to install the premium version also. And I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. Click on activate. All right, so in the left hand panel, you will see YITH and you will see a request a quote. Click on it. So these are the basic settings of this plugin. On the general options, you will see add to quote option. Where do you want to put this button? In line with add to cart, underneath the add to cart button. Then we have hide add to cart. Let me show you the current website. Here we have all products. This is a demo website. You will see this is the price of the product and we have add to cart button. If I go to single product page, you will see add to cart button and you will also see add to code button added when we install this plugin. So if I go here, you will see the option here underneath the add to cart. So where, where do you want to see this button? Underneath the add to cart button. So we are on the general options and this option is selected here underneath the add to cart button. If you do not want to show the add to cart button, you can enable this option, hide add to cart. Let's enable this one. And if you do not want to show the price also, then you can select this option, enable this option, hide prices, click on save options. Let's go back here, refresh it. And you will say the price is not there as well as add to cart button is also not there. If I go to home page where all the products are listed, you will see the price is not there and add to cart button is also not there. And now we have after clicking on add to quote, the user sees a link to access the quote request list. So if I click on this add to quote, it will add this product in the list for the quotes. If I click on browse the list, it will go to the list where all the products will be added. This is the request a quote page, which is automatically created when you install this plugin. So you do not need to create this page. It will be created automatically. And in this list, we have two products. Make changes. You can change it. Let's remove this one and click on update list. So only one product is there in the list. 
now i can enter the name and email address and add some message and send a request to the admin of the website and admin will receive the email with the quote list All right let's click on send your request and the request will be sent to the admin All right so this is the basic function of adding request or quote plugin let's go back next option is customization these are the basic customization settings of the button if you want a text link you can select text link or you can select button and these are the button settings what do you want to add to quote is the label for that button let me go back and let's go to product so this is the label add to quote if you want to change you can change it product added to the list is the label product is already in the list browse the list when you click on this one it will go to request a quote page okay, next is request quote page so as i said earlier it will create a page automatically or if you want to create a new page you can click on create a new page or if you have any other page that you want to be as request a quote page you will see a drop down and select your required page from the drop down list in this case, I'm going to select request a quote, which is by default created by installing this plugin. Page layout, product list above, and then form below. Product list on the left hand side and form on the right hand side. Update list, if you want to show the button update list, you can enable this option. Privacy options, add a privacy option. You can also add a privacy option here. Okay, let's click save. Then we have get premium plugin if you want to buy the premium plugin you can buy the premium plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link to buy the premium plugin if i go to shop page again you will see all the pricings are gone and there is no add to cart button if i go to any product page it will give me the option only to add the product in the quote list if I go to the email, you will see that admin has received one quote request and this is the product. Now here, admin can reply to this email manually. So if you have free plugin, you will need to do it manually. You will see the customer detail, name and the email. So you can use this email to reply to the customer. So there are not too many settings in the free version. Now I'm going to install the premium version of the plugin. I have already downloaded the, the premium version, so I'm going to upload it. Go to plugins and click on add new plugin click on upload plugin and browse the plugin click on install now click on activate plugin plugin is installed let's go to yith request a quote and now you will see many other options are added this is the first option here quote request so if someone fills up the form and if someone requests a quote it will show the list here so you can reply to the customer directly from this dashboard. Go to general options. Now you will see some other options are there. Add to quote all products or products in the exclusion list only. You will see exclusion list only. Here you will see exclusion list. If you want to add any product in the exclusion list, you can add that here and that product will not have the option request a quote. Or you can show the add to code button only on the products which are in the exclusion list if you select this one and if you add products in the exclusion list the request a code button will be shown only on these products then we have add to cart on out of stock product show add to cart in all products also out of stock only on out of stock product or hide add to cart on out of stock products show add to quote on single product pages if you do not want to show it on single product page you can disable it from here layout of the button is there show add to quote in woocommerce pages and it will show on the shop page i guess let's refresh now here you will see add to quote button is added now you will need to customize the layout of your woocommerce website so that it will show the button properly okay, i'm going to disable this option hide add to cart button we have already selected that option hide prices is also selected show ask quote on the cart page you can also enable it and you can add quote option on the cart page also seize a link to access the quote request list 
so that is that was the browse the list option let's click on save options then we have customization again these are the customization for the button you can change the style settings of the button you will also see accept pay and reject buttons options i'll show you how does this look request code page so that was the page where all the products will be listed this is the page and we have form options also say in the request product images what do you want to show on the table it will show product image and quantity return to top option is available update and clear list option pdf options view pdf let's enable this option okay so it will show the pdf also a simple text message you will see this message we will go through this then we have form option the form you can customize the form currently we have first name last name email message email and first name are mandatory coach options save the request as an order with status a new code request i'll show you how does this look let's refresh this one and i'm going to add another product here let's try this one okay we have add to code so i'm going to add this product to the code let's add one more all right so we have got two products in the list click on browse the list now you will see return to shop button is added this is the image currently i do not have images for these demo products so that's why it's not showing here then we have update the list a view pdf option is also there you will see all the products in the pdf format then i can add first name last name email and message i'm going to send your request you will see the message is there now if i go back to the dashboard here go to request one request is added here i can go to edit and it will go to the orders page where you will see all the details of the customer this is the name email and this is the message which products are added total is 69 dollars and 98 cents i can recalculate it or i can again change the pricing here let's make it 45 dollars and this one let's make it 98 dollars and you will see a discount of $5 has been added and this is going to be the final price now i can show custom text in the email content i can also upload an optional attachment set a specific expiry date for this code you can also add a date for this code then we have override code payment options send a test mail so you can also send a test email before you send the actual email to the customers see a pdf preview then we have send code so i can send the code now this is the pdf preview of the code this is how it is going to look so customer will be able to download the pdf and they will see all the details in the pdf format you will see discount of five dollars is also added i can send the code all right the code has been sent now let's go back to the dashboard i can go to my accounts and on the my accounts page for the customer you will see the codes option is added so this is going to be the customer's dashboard and codes option is added this is how the customer will see the codes i can go to painting and these are the details of the code that the admin has sent to the customer so these are the products and you will see accept and reject option all right let's go back let's go to other settings yith request code and let's go to code options and these are the code settings save the request only send an email to the site admin set and expiry time so these options are available accept or reject option is also enabled that we have already seen code payment through only through specific payment methods let's go to code pdf so you can enable or disable the pdf i'm going to enable the pdf and let's save the options and here you will see codes in my account which is already enabled you will see it here 
code payment all right you will see redirect the user to pay for code page save the options and below that you will see exclusion list if you add any product in the exclusion list this product will not have request a quote option okay now let's go back refresh this my account page we have enabled the pdf option so you can see the pdf here and it will open the pdf five dollar discount is there so if you want to enable request a quote option on your woocommerce website you can try using the free plugin if you want more features you can go for the pro version of the plugin i'll give you the link in the description box if you want to buy this plugin you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips